Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is Lighthouse Killer and I am going to be showing you guys a little bit of a practice that I've been doing ever since I was a little child. Uh, it has to do with the movie industry and it's actually a dying art um, with the conversion with digital going on. This is no longer going to be a general practice for theaters and I just wanted to give everybody out there a chance to actually be able to see what goes on uh, for the magic of the theater. So go ahead and I hope you guys enjoy these next few films of me building film and actually taking apart film, showing you how all that works. But let's get started. Uh, here is a film. We're going to call this film X. It was delivered here and it shows up in a box just like this. All taped shut. We got to open that up. And uh, as soon as I get this open, I will come back. Oh, back. Uh, it's all open, and as you can see, the film is actually broken down into these five sections here. These are all five 20-minute long reels. This is all the film in here. It's 35 millimeter, if you guys were asking. Uh, and all we do is we actually take all this film and we splice it all together and uh, uh, using a specialty tape to make the film that we play here in movie theaters. And I guess I'm going to get started. I hope you guys enjoy it, and let's get going on this. Okay, well what we first need to do is we need to pull out all these reels out of this box here so I can actually get into the bottom of it, because at the bottom of it we're going to have the different trailers that we're going to be putting on the front of it. Now trailers are actually previews, as jargon goes. Okay. Here are our previews, just right down here on the bottom. They're actually in really small reels. These are actually approximately two and a half minutes a piece. And we'll be taping them, splicing them in the proper jargon to the front of the first reel to be putting onto the movie. Okay, so we're actually at the end of this part of it where you're getting ready. You're actually taking some tape and we're not only labeling which reel this film reel particularly is, we're actually going to mark exactly how full the reel is so that when we're taking apart, which is going to be shown in a different section, that we'll be able to take apart with a little bit more ease and we'll be able to see what's going on. So this is the fifth reel and the film is up to here. So well, let's get started actually building and putting the trailers on the first reel. So we got our first reel up here. Now these film, these reels actually need to be put in in the order that they're actually given. One, two, three, four, and five. If you do five, one, two, three, the person who dies in the end is all of a sudden going to be living in the next part, and then living, and then dying, and slowly dying, and then all of a sudden the film's going to end. You're never going to know what happened. So you have to put them in the order that they are actually supposed to be. So we'll spin off each. Each reel is marked with a head and a tail, and the heads and the tails are actually just identifiers for all the projectionists that are involved with dealing with the film. And we simply you actually just cut them off at the appropriate film line, film frame line, so that, uh, and then we'll not discard them, we'll actually store them because then we'll pass them on to the next theater where they'll need it for their own identifying purposes. Once we've cut that off, we'll take our film, trailer-wise, and we will get that. Even the trailers have heads and tails. Get to the actual movie trailer part of it. Go ahead and cut that off. Then you'll splice them or tape them together. And you actually have to make sure... If you can see, yes you can, there's a little bit of blue squigglies over here and then a picture over here when you're looking at this. The blue squigglies are the sound and you actually need to make sure that the sounds match up. You go blue squiggly to blue squiggly and you tape them together. If you do it the other way, then it's going to show backwards when you're actually showing the film for your customers. And even though this is yellow tape, uh, the tape actually you can't see it when you go through when it goes through the projector, so none of the customers know that it's yellow. Only me or other projectionists know that it's yellow, and it actually helps with takedown when we're taking apart film later. Go ahead and set that splicer off to the side, and then we will spool this all up 
using our makeup table. That's what this whole entire unit is. You want to be careful how fast you do that. It has this little plastic core and when it gets to the end of it, it'll actually take that this core piece and it'll whip it around and it you know can whip you in some not so nice parts since this table is waist high. Again, we'll cut the head off of that one. We'll take our next trailer. It's always nice to put a few extra trailers on there. A lot of customers really enjoy watching trailers. Oopsies. Made a mistake. That's why you always check your work. I made a quick mistake. I didn't cut the film exactly where it needed to be. And that's fine, just as long as you check your mistakes and fix your mistakes. But then again, you take your film and you're going to want to splice that together, sound together again. You don't want to switch around. trailer that I put on there or preview and uh, then we'll actually get started making the film itself. Now the film itself we'll actually be threading this through. Let me adjust this. Actually we go into this top platter where we're gonna be going to this top platter right here and this is the mylar or the threading mylar or the leader or the header or whatever you want to call it. Uh, when we actually start threading through, it's just an extra film that doesn't mean anything that we can do our threading through. And let me move this camera and I will be back. <laughs> 